Hi, this is another video response on your idea about getting 8800 GT. You know, the I have this card and I know what it is, and um, it's fast. No doubt about it, it's fast. But uh, it's absolutely not overclockable. Uh, if you want to overclock it, you get about um, uh, maybe 40 megahertz more, and then it's, you can't overclock it more because there is simply not enough voltage on the core. So then you gotta get your soldering uh, uh, iron and the, the saddle something to do those things to do volt mode, uh, which is not good for your card. And also, once you overclock it even more, if you did it, uh, the memory becomes not stable. So uh, the memory um, you have to load it by 50 megahertz, then by 100. It depends how far you overclock your core. So the memory basically very weak on that card. It's it's very crappy right memory there. So ATI 3870 has much better memory, and uh, it can be overclocked even better. Another problem. 8800 GT is like a vacuum cleaner. The only thing that makes noise in my computer is uh, 8800 GT video card. You know, my power supply is uh, unnoticeable in my system, and uh, my other things are unnoticeable. But the card makes it the so horrible noise, especially when you play games. It, it it becomes like a vacuum cleaner. Then you can't stay anymore because the sound is awful. That's all because they came up with the single slot solution. So, if you think about getting an NVIDIA card, mm -hmm, a real kind of GT is not the way to go. Or it's not the way to go with uh, the stack cooler. I mean, if you will put some other systems on it, some uh, aftermarket cooler, then it's fine. But uh, the stack one, it's, it's, it just sucks. It's the, it's not cooling your car that runs at uh, 60s, 80s even sometimes. So don't get the 8800 to get uh, the 3870. Right now I'm thinking about downgrade or would I call call it downgrade? I would uh, like to exchange my 8800 on uh, on uh, ATI 3870 because it's basically the same thing. 3870 sometimes it's a little bit slower, sometimes it's faster than 8800. Uh, and all this depends on drivers. So ATI releases every 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 month, I guess every two months, uh, new versions of uh, Catalytis driver, and uh, it becomes faster and faster every every day, I would say.